Hi, I'm Jared, founder of Achievers Dream O and A level chemistry specialist. If you are a parent or a child taking chemistry, okay, this is a video that you might want to watch because what I'm about to share with you is what we have done over the last 11 years after helping 800 plus students all over Singapore. So, many of them started with us with poor grades, uh, S and U's or C and below for O level. But after using AD teaching methodology, they jump from these grades to at least A and B in Achiever's Dream. And in fact, 9 out of 10 manage to score this kind of improvement. So, if you are wondering why is a child struggling in chemistry or why, why are they failing even though they are trying really hard already, this is a video that you might watch for the next few minutes. To be a teacher in Achiever's Dream, they have to go through this 9 step selection process as we are highly selective about the kind of teachers we bring in to help um, students in the Achievers Dream. So probably in out of every 30 applicants, only one or two made it out of the entire interview process. And thereafter, they have to go through a rigorous training about three to six months before they can step into AD classroom to start teaching. And on top of that, we actually have a fully equipped, um, fully equipped chemistry lab, which we have invested six figures in so that we can provide the chemistry help and support for your child. So, and uh, chemistry is actually, chemistry practical is actually 20% of the entire syllabus. And uh, if you do pay attention to this 20% and have it in your pocket, um, your, your child will feel much, much more confident when it just comes to the theory aspect of chemistry. Combining theoretical, uh, theoretical aspect and practical um, to learn chemistry is one of the most effective way to learn chemistry that we have found out over the years. So let, let's, let me quickly hop in to the video right now and uh, share with you more insights on how yourself or even your child can improve in chemistry. So I'm going to start with problem number one. Problem number one is students have extremely poor foundation in chemistry. I've seen many students over the years and uh, they work really hard for chemistry but however they just couldn't score in the subject and this is because they have very poor foundation. So you can treat it like learning the basics of ABCs before they can even form a sentence. No matter how hard they try to form a sentence, if they do not know the ABCs in chemistry, they cannot do or cannot even score in this subject. So you might ask, you might ask me, Jared, so how do I help my child to solve this problem? Easy. First, you have to identify all the foundation topics okay then after that let them solve this problem okay fix their foundation before and give the highest priority to fix the foundation before moving forward to other aspects of chemistry or other topics in chemistry number two is really not your fault because the chemistry syllabus is getting more and more challenging okay let me uh, explain why uh, i made this statement Back then, there are a lot more recall questions um, simply by memorizing the textbook and uh, coughing out the same information will get you the good grades that you or your child wants. Okay, but however, right now, there's an increasing trend whereby in O-level papers, they're coming out A-level concepts or in probably in A-level concept, A-level paper, they're coming out university concepts just, just to challenge the really good students. Okay, we call them higher order thinking questions. Okay, this higher order thinking question, right, will need you to apply the concept that you have learned. So uh, if you try to just memorize your way through, that you will not be able to score the grades that you want. So it is not your fault, your child's fault. It's getting more and more difficult. The syllabus getting tougher. Even teachers ourselves have to keep up with this um, rigorous curriculum so that we can provide the value and the the help that students need nowadays. Problem number three is you or your child might have wrong studying method. Okay, why I made this statement, such a strong statement, a wrong studying method is because they will try to memorize uh, chemistry concepts or all the different pointers inside the textbook or in their notes or they will, the more hardworking ones will rewrite notes. Okay, because it helped them to retain the information. Okay, but such method of learning, I classify them as rote learning, right? Will not be able to give them the grades that they want because this only serves 
to prepare for the recall question but not for the application question. So, a lot of um, students might ask, Jer, how come right, what I learned in school and what came out in exam is like two different things. It's like, why so different? It's not like what, whatever I'm paying attention in class is coming out. And the reason is because all the questions that, come, that came out in exams, right, all the application questions, you need to see it, do it before you can do the same thing in exam. Okay, so, so how to solve it, right, is you need to prepare and apply and do the right resources. I've seen parents buy a stack of assessment books for their child. But imagine if you are in their shoes, will you be overwhelmed by the number of assessment books or the number of wrong resources? Okay, but today we have designed the resource that your child needs such that uh, all the time used to prepare for the subject will be well used, will be effective and they can see the results that they want to see if they follow our methodology. How can your child or even you score an explanation question? This is for you. Um, many students that come to Achiever Gym, they ask this similar question. So uh, we actually share with them that a lot of untrained students, they will try a lot, write long paragraphs hoping to hit the point that the Cambridge examiners are looking for. But unfortunately, many of them uh, don't. Lah. So what we can do and what we teach in Achiever Gym is to equip them with the correct keywords and such that they can hit the, hit the nail okay, at the point that the Cambridge examiner is looking for and get the marks within the shortest possible time. So, on top of that, they need to show understanding to the Cambridge examiners how they link different concepts and understanding of the entire chemistry subject. So, if you ask me how to score an explanation question, easy. So, apply the correct keywords. Number two, show your understanding of chemistry or for the concept to the Cambridge examiners. If I were to recommend to your child how he or she is going to study in chemistry, this is what I will recommend. So, first, focus on the foundation, like I mentioned just now. Make sure he or she has really strong foundation such that all the time that you used to um, learn chemistry will be effective. Number two, stop memorizing and stop using them road learning methods to approach chemistry. Don't learn chemistry like human subject. Learn it like math. You need to practice. Okay? Practice, practice, practice. And number three, get the right resources. Okay? Getting your child ton of assessment books will not help them. And in fact, we recommend two hours on top of tuition lessons and schoolwork in order to see the kind of fast improvement your child wants to see. So these are the three things I'll recommend your child if he or she wants to ace chemistry. So I hope it is helpful for you. Many people do not come to the end of this video, uh, but in fact only 5% only make it to this point. And I want to congratulate you for being one of the 5% to finish this video because right now, you or your child know exactly how to improve in chemistry. But before you take any action to sign up for any tuition centers or tutors, this is one thing I'll recommend you to do right now. Your child's starting point and probably his friends are entirely different. So what he needs and what his friend needs, also different. So what I recommend you to do right now is to take up this diagnostic test. Take the diagnostic test, see where's your starting point before deciding what you're going to do next. Because after you know where you are right now, what problems and challenges you are facing, then you'll be able to have a customized solution to proceed and get better grades. Halfway watching the video, I actually send you another message in Facebook Messenger. So you just have to click on the link if you want to take up my advice. So if you want to take up this diagnostic offer right now, click on the link below, input your name, your phone number, and my staff will actually connect with you within two to three days. Um, if, if you happen to be the first 10 to, to click on the link below, we are actually going to give you an, a book written by myself and some starting materials that cannot be found in the market. So I hope you are the first 10. And if not, I hope you have enjoyed the entire video. And thank you for watching with me um, to the end of the video. And I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.